Hey there, uh, Sensei James Wall at Wall to Wall Martial Arts. I wanted to give you a quick introduction or explanation about what this video is. So this is going to be the technical material that we require here at Wall to Wall Martial Arts for a junior. This is ages 6 through 12 in our Junior Judo program. This is what we work with them on or have them learn during the first eight weeks or first two months of their time here at Wall to Wall Martial Arts. This is for them to go from white belt to the first rank we do in our junior program, which is white belt belt with a yellow stripe. So with our rotating curriculum, what would happen is the juniors would all warm up together. Of course, white belts are going to have some supervision, an instructor or someone from our junior leadership team kind of watching over their shoulder. And then after warm-ups are done, we're going to split the class up. And all of our white belt students will go to one end of the mat and our colored ranks, yellow striping up, are all going to stay together on the other end of the mat. And this is the material that those white belt students are going to work on. And they'll work on this pretty much every class for the first eight weeks they're with us and then they're eligible to test for their yellow stripe. Once they have that yellow stripe, we know they have a certain baseline of material. We've been working with them on their ukemi and watching it improve. So now they're eligible to move and start working in with all of the other ranks. So they'll work into our normal semester material for whatever we happen to be covering that semester. So this is our material for juniors age 6 through 12 to go from white belt to yellow stripe here at Wall to Wall Martial Arts in our rotating judo curriculum. Hey guys, Sensei James here and we're going to go over the written requirements for promotion to white belt with a yellow stripe. That is the first promotion in our junior judo uh, curriculum or junior judo system. Uh, the throwing techniques required are Osoto Gari, that is the large outer reap, and Kubinagi, the neck throw. There are two pinning techniques required at this rank. There's Kesa Gatami, the scarf hold. You also have to know the bridge and roll uh, escape from that. We will also accept an uphill turn escape if necessary. And the second pin is Mune Gatami, the chest hold. And our escape there is a guard recovery, meaning the kids have to get their legs back around their opponent's waist. Our miscellaneous mat work technique for this rank is the cross face turnover. The vocabulary and general knowledge for this rank are as follows. What is the name of your judo club? Wall to wall martial arts. What are the names of your judo instructors? And here we'll take first name like Sensei James, Sensei John, Sensei Andrew. Uh, what does judo mean in English? The gentle way. Who was the founder of judo? Dr. Jigoro Kano. What is the name of the first judo school? The Kodokan. And what are the two main principles of judo? Maximum efficiency and mutual benefit and welfare. We also have some uh, vocabulary terms here that kids have to know the uh, definitions for. We will call these out in Japanese. They have to know the, uh, the definition in English. So those are kiyotsuke, which means attention, rei, which means bow, hajime, which means begin, mate, which means stop, and sensei, which means teacher. Now it's important to remember that these questions and these basic vocabulary terms at the bottom of the sheet, the kids will need to know these not only for their yellow stripe promotion, but for every subsequent promotion. So each time they test, they'll need to know the answers to these questions and vocabulary terms in addition to some new ones that will be unique to the particular semester that they're working on. Hey guys, Sensei James here along with Sensei John. We're going to be covering the requirements for white belt with yellow stripe in our junior judo curriculum. We have a couple of throwing techniques, a couple of pins, and then one simple groundwork technique to go over for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. First technique is going to be Osoto Gari, the large outer reap. Our second technique at this rank is Kubinagi, the neck throw. We have two pinning techniques for yellow stripe. The first one is Kesa Gatami, the scarf hold. And from this position, we need the kids to know one of two escapes, either a bridge and roll escape, which we'll see demonstrated here,
or they can also substitute the uphill turn escape we'll see here. And our second pinning technique at yellow stripe is Munegatami, the chest hold. And our escape from this technique for the kids is going to be a simple guard recovery. They're going to push away and get their legs around their opponent's waist here. We have one miscellaneous mat work technique at this rank. It's called the cross face turnover. We want the kids to be able to perform this technique and finish in a pin or controlling situation. So it's important they not let their opponent throw them completely across as they turn them over. And that is it. Those are the requirements for yellow stripe in our junior judo curriculum. Hope you guys enjoy.